<laughs> hey guys, it's Brian here. So today I have another one of my empty type of videos for you. It was just garbage day the other day, so you know what that means. I have to film my empties video and refill my recycling and my garbage. Because why would I film an empties video before garbage day? Like now. I don't know. I don't know how I always manage to film these videos after garbage day, but I do. It's not intentional or anything like that. I don't know. Also, I'm trying out a new layout here. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll have to check out the clips and that while I'm editing and rewatching this video, see how I feel, see if I like it or not. And yeah, take it from there. But let's get this long introduction out of the way and let's get into the empties video. So, these are all the goodies. I filled up a fairly fairly nice size Bath and Body Works bag, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. I reuse these bags by throwing all my garbage in them and then I recycle them when they get a little rough looking. So yeah, I cannot talk today for some reason, but I haven't filmed in so long and I didn't put up a video last week, so I really wanted to film today to edit this video and get it up for next Monday because, I don't know, I don't know, I haven't really been feeling filming-ish. I have a few true crime videos filmed in that and I have to edit them but I don't really know if I want to post them or not. Um, so yeah, want to get out this video, clean up my room a bit and yeah, what a long intro. Alright, no more wasting no more time. So the first thing I'm pulling out is by Bath & Body Works. It is their Hawaii Coconut Water and Pineapple Body Lotion. I honestly used to be obsessed with Bath & Body Works. Like, I used to spend so much money in that store. Their lotions smell just so good and are really, really uh, moisturizing. This one smelled really, really good. I don't know, I'm not really huge into body lotions as much now, but like, it, it does smell really, really good if you're interested in that kind of thing. The next thing I'm pulling out by, is by Tony Moly. It is their Pokemon um, Bulbasaur Pore Foam Cleansing, cleansing, fa facial cleanser, sorry. <laughs> Oh my god, I love this. I have I've had this forever. I didn't really want to get rid of it because like look how cute it is. But I've squeezed out like every last drop of this soap. It's a nice soap. It you feel really, really like squeaky clean after using it. And yeah, I enjoyed it. It lasted me forever, and I'm pretty sure I only paid like five dollars, maybe seven dollars for it, so it's definitely affordable. I don't know I don't know if they still make it though. I don't know if it was just like a temporary collaboration since it's Pokemon and Tony Moly, but I like this. It's just so cute. Kinda sad to see it go. Alright, the next thing I have is by Dove. It is their daily moisture shampoo. I like this, it's a good shampoo, my hair feels clean, it doesn't feel too dry after using it. It smells really really good. And yeah, I actually used up a makeup product. I used this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation in the shade 310 Light Ivory. I actually love this, it's so interesting. It goes on like a liquid but then ends up being like a powder. It's really really good for my oily skin I find because you don't really have to set it since it turns into a powder. I've been mixing this with the L'Oreal, like, it's like a BB cream in like light, but it kind of is orangish. So I've been mixing that BB cream with this to kind of make it darker and more of my skin tone since it is summer right now and, and even though it doesn't look like it, I do have a bit of a tan. And yeah, I really really like this. I think when I bought this one though, Shoppers was discontinuing it, so I don't know if they still make it or not. To me it also is kind of, it's not a full coverage, I don't believe. I wouldn't say so, it's more buildable and I really really like that. Normally I'm all about full coverage, but in the summer, I kind of like the whole no makeup makeup look so yeah I don't know I really really like this I used up this Mario Badescu skincare it is their facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I like this it smelled really nice this lasted me a long time actually and I'm considering keeping this bottle bottle and making my own little little face spray because I do have some aloe vera I do have an aloe vera plant so I've been debating kind of making my own like aloe vera face mist and seeing how that goes but other than that I do really really like this and this is pretty affordable. I used up a Lush Jack-O-Lantern bath bomb. It was a, if I remember I'll try to put a picture from Lush. It's just like a little Jack-O-Lantern. It smells really really good and it makes the bath water really really moisturizing. I love Lush, Lush bath bombs. I don't use them as much as I used to but yeah they're always a nice treat. Oh. It doesn't look like I used that much stuff. I just used up a lot of big things because now this does not look anywhere near as full. 
But I used up this no name peppermint tea. I've talked about this before in videos. It's just a really, really cheap, affordable tea that tastes really, really good. I definitely recommend checking it out if you like peppermint tea. I used up another peppermint tea. This one is by Gloria. I don't even remember where I got this from. Pretty sure it was just like an affordable tea that was peppermint and yeah. It was a peppermint tea, it tasted good. I used up these Pure Derm, Pure Derm Collagen Eye Zone Masks, 30 pieces. It looks like this. I believe I got these off of YesStyle.com. These were nice. I liked actually putting them on before I did my makeup or like I'd put them on, do like an eye makeup look and then I'd finish up the rest of my face just because they felt really, really nice and I feel like they helped me wake up. And yeah, they didn't dry out or anything. They lasted me a while too, so I really like these. I used up these Bath Scents, I believe is the brand. It is their Aromatherapy Bath Oil Pearls and Tropical Coconut. I actually got these from the dollar store. They were $3. So I was like, okay, I'll give them a go. Um, they're alright. They're nothing really, really special. I actually had them on my dresser. I actually put them in this cute little glass container thing, and I think it just looks really, really cute. It's nothing special. Like, they smell pretty good, but they also kind of have this weird smell to them that I don't really know how to describe. Even though they were really affordable, I don't think I'd buy them again, because, like, I don't know, they really weren't that amazing. Like, they were interesting, but nothing really special. I used up this 5-minute natural white whitening finishing rinse, so basically, basically just a mouthwash. I don't know if this whitened my teeth. I don't even know where I got this from in all honesty. It was a mouthwash. It, w it worked like my breath felt nice after using in that. But again, I don't really know if it helped whiten my teeth or not. So yeah. I used up three David's teas, it, look it looks like. I used up their Sparkling Sangria David's Tea. I didn't really like this. I wouldn't buy this again. It just, it's really, really floral. Not florally. It's really, really fruity in that, but it's just not really my favorite. I don't know. Something about it I wasn't crazy about, even though I did finish it, so yeah. I used up this Aperio, I believe it's called, Spritz. Again, it's a fruit infusion. Wasn't my favorite. I wouldn't purchase again. Yeah. And I also used up this Lemon Smash one as well. This one is exactly like the name states. It is very, very lemony, I, so I'm not really a huge lemon tea kind of person. I just wanted to try it out. So I wouldn't be purchasing this again. I'm more like someone that likes green tea or like peppermint tea. Um, or even white tea, but not really fruity teas or not really black teas. So yeah, just not my cup of tea. I used up this Degree Motion Sense deodorant in the Fresh Energy scent. It worked. I didn't stink. No complaints. I don't know. See, I have some makeup products here. I used up the... They're Real by Benefit Mascara, just a deluxe sample. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today. I believe it's kind of old and like it's just not giving me as amazing eyelashes that it used to so I'm chucking this. I, I do want to use up all my mascaras and try out lash extensions but like since you're not supposed to wear mascara with the lash extensions I want to use them all up first so they don't dry out in that so one day I'll get to that. I also used up this Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer Essential Glow. I feel like I always say this in my videos. I don't really know if primers work like I don't know. Like, I use primers, I have so many primers from my Ipsy and that, and I even buy primers, but I really don't know if they make a difference, but here I am still buying them, and yeah. I feel like this did give me a bit of a glow, which was nice, but I also am just naturally really, really oily, so it could be that too. But yeah. I lied, I used up two more David's teas. I used up the pistachio ice cream. Oh, this was a black tea. And I know I said I don't like black tea, but I actually did like this pistachio ice cream one. It was kind of creamy, and it just tasted really, really good. And then I also used this butterfly jasmine one. I believe I did like this one as well, since it is like a jasmine tea, and that's kind of up my alley. So I do believe I like this one as well. I used up an Intuition uh, razor head. I have so many of these. They're just really quick and easy to shave with. I've been debating going with an elepite what is it? Epilate? Elipidator? Elip... Elipidator? I've been... Never mind. Just scratch it. I have so many of these. I'm probably gonna keep using them just because they make shaving really, really quick and simple. And yeah. I used up a Colgate toothpaste that I just got on me. That's scrumptious. It is a whitening one. Again, I don't know if this will help whiten my teeth or anything, but it made my teeth fresh. I don't have cavities. And I can't complain. I either always use Crest or Colgate toothpaste. 
usually. I'm also checking out these cute little cable holders. This one, the ears are ripped off and in the bag. But I got these off of, I think I got them off of eBay. And I know they're available on other websites, but you basically just will stick them onto a wall or like a, a nightstand, a dresser, whatever, and then you can put your cables through it and it helps keep them untangled and organized in that. I switched around my whole room in that, so I ripped them off and now they're not sticky anymore, so that's why I'm getting rid of them. Um, they're cute in that. I don't know. I don't know if I'd buy them again personally, um, but they're a cute idea, so that's why I thought I'd include them in the video in case there's something that really, really interests you. I used up this little Basia Subaki cleansing oil gel. It was a little sample. I love the packaging though. I think it is so cute and so up my alley. I say that though, but I don't believe I ended up really being crazy about this or like to me it was just like an okay product so I wouldn't try purchasing the full size because this just wasn't for me even though I'm obsessed with the packaging. I used up this La Balm Mad Lash Black Mascara. It was just a little sample. I believe I got in an Ipsy. I don't think I really was crazy about this, to be honest. I don't think I really liked it. I don't really remember it that much, but I'm pretty sure this is the one I didn't really care for. I have like nine more products to talk about, so I'll try to speed along because I'm sure this is probably a very long video. <laughs> I used up this L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It's, it's in the shade C2 Natural Ivory. Ivory. It looks like this. It is a bit pale for me right now because like I mentioned in the video, I, I do have a bit of a tan but I really really like this foundation. I've literally been using it for probably like 12 years now because it's just my pride and true. Love this. It's affordable. It's great. And yeah, I really really like L'Oreal foundations. I used up another primer. This one is by Smashbox. It is their photo frame. Photo Finish Primerizer, so it's a moisturizer and a primer. I really, really like this, especially for days that I felt kind of like dull and dry and I just didn't feel super, super um, moisturized. So yeah, I did really like this primer, even though I always say I don't really know how I feel about primers, but I did enjoy this one. I actually used up a lot of makeup products in this, in this empties, I feel. I used up this little Aqualina Pink Sugar little perfume sample. I actually really, really like this perfume. I have the full size and I have some little roll roller balls of it as well because it's just so sweet. It smells so, so good and it's one of my all-time favorite perfumes. I used up another perfume. This one is by Joelle Parker. It is their Classico little, no, no, a sample perfume. It's just a little guy. Was this one I really, really liked? Or was it Femima? Fem Femina, I really like. I do like this one, but I think I like another one way more, but you actually can't buy this one anywhere. I looked online and they don't sell it anymore. I guess it's discontinued and it's kind of a shame because I do like how this one smells as, where as well as the other one. It just kind of has a like mature scent to it. I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe like a musky scent? It's not a perfume I'd normally go for, but I do really, really like it. I used up another mascara. This one is by Tarte. It is their Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara. I honestly did not like this mascara. I don't know if I just got a faulty one or what, but to me it was like a really, really dry mascara. And it, it just really didn't do much for my lashes, so I didn't really care for it. So I wouldn't be purchasing this again. And the last four products I have are all skincare. They're all, I believe, face moisturizers. So yeah, I'll go through these really, really quickly. So I used up this Vichy Aqua Aqualia Thermal. It's a, it's a gel cream, and wow, I really, really love this. I loved how it was like, kind of tacky, so it was great to put on my makeup after putting this on. It smelled so good. And I just love how it made my skin feel. I also love the packaging for it. And yeah, I also just really, really love the packaging for it. And I'd totally buy this again because I really, really like it. I used up this Neostrata Restore by Onyx Face Cream. It's just a little sample. I actually did, I wasn't crazy about this. It was all right. It kind of had just a really, really thick texture that I just didn't love. But like, I didn't really hate it. But yeah, I just wouldn't buy this again. It felt nice, it did moisturize my skin, but I just didn't like the tech, the thick consistency of it. I used up this Now Bay Renewal Antiox by Contour Cream. It's just a little guy as well. I don't know how I feel about this. I never really know if eye creams work for me or not. I'm kind of looking for my holy grail eye cream, and I don't think this was it. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really know what to look for in an eye cream, I guess. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying until I find one I really, really like. And last but not least, the last thing I used up for this empties video is this Eye and Lip Beauty. It is their Salmon Oil Intense Care Cream. Love the packaging, simple, but I love it. 
I really really like this cream to put on in the morning before I do my makeup it smells nice and it just felt nice and it kind of had like a bit of a tacky texture that that I personally enjoy having on my face before I put on makeup um yeah I really really like this and like I feel like it really moisturized my skin and yeah it's also a really really affordable brand and I like a bunch of their products so I definitely recommend checking them out but yeah, so that's everything I had in my empties little bag for this month, or this video, because I don't do these every month. I do not use up that many products in a month at all. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this new layout or not. I think I do really, really like it. I don't know, it's kind of a little plain, but like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Hopefully I wasn't too scatterbrained or anything like that, because I swear I'm going to have to edit so much out of this video, because I just kept stumbling over my words because I just can't speak today and I haven't filmed a video in a very very long time. I'm happy to have gotten rid of all these things and now I can recycle them and all that fun stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff down below. It really helps my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day or had a great day and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.